For today, you're going to need a big piece of paper, a smaller piece of paper, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. First though, let's talk about glue sticks. You're going to choose your own glue stick, and you'll find some of them are better than others. This one is almost empty, it doesn't roll up anymore, but there's still enough glue to use, so it's okay. This one has been used before, but it's got plenty of glue left. It just looks a little messy. You can definitely still roll it up, but not too far. If you do it this far, you'll use too much glue, it'll break, and you'll have a hard time getting it back down. Always put the cap back on the glue, too. You may also find a glue stick that is completely used up and dry. Just get up and throw that in the trash and choose a new one. So now we're ready to start. You take your smaller piece of paper and you're gonna start cutting shapes out of it. Any shape that you want. You can make triangles, squares, rectangles, circles, diamonds. Really get creative. And don't forget to make some that are really big and some that are really, really small. I'm making a really small set of rectangles right now, but you can see my other shapes are a little bit bigger. Watch here for how I cut a circle out. It's a little bit tricky, but if you look carefully, you'll be able to do it too. So now I'm ready for glue. You are going to be turning all of your shapes into any kind of animal that you want. You can think for a minute to decide and then start gluing them down. I've started with a triangle for my animal's head. I'm going to make sure that the glue is not rolled up too far and then put just a little bit on the back of my piece. I don't want to put too much. Then stick it somewhere on your paper making sure that you leave enough room for the animal's body. Look closely here for how I handle gluing really, really small pieces of paper. You're gonna have to get your fingers a little bit sticky, but that's okay, that's all part of being an artist. I decided to use what I learned from lines and make a zigzag tail out of small rectangles for my animal. What kind of animal do you think I've made? Now I'm all done with my animal that I made entirely out of shapes that I cut out myself. Have you decided what animal it is yet? <laughs> 